ओके फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक नाउ लेट अस लुक इन टू द मैटर ऑफ ए कांसेप्ट वाचिंग फॉर द फाइनल ईयर बीकम स्टूडेंट्स वाचिंग इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कांसेप्ट फॉर एवरी ऑडिटर फॉर एवरी ऑडिटर बिकॉज़ विदाउट वाचिंग ऑडिटिंग कैन नॉट बी कंप्लीटेड ओके देन before going to watch see what watching what is a watcher we have to see the meaning of what is a watcher it is a documentary evidence in support of transactions entered in the books of accounts what we have entered in the books of accounts that should be entered with the support of one watcher one receipt so it is a written document of certain expenditures or disbursement or complete transactions in support of an entry made in the books of accounts okay then what constitutes voucher means what are all the types of vouchers we can there are some examples of vouchers these are the examples a bill a receipt an invoice a cash memo goods received note salaries and wages sheets prepared by the organization people hr manager goods inward and outward register stores records counterfoil of uh, check book in the banks counterfoil of a pay slip book or a bank statement bank passbook etc okay what makes a valid voucher which voucher is said to be a good voucher or valid voucher legally it is valid means we have to find out certain factors whether the factors are there in the vouchers so these are the factors number 1 is a voucher should have a serial number from the beginning of the year any financial year they should give numbers to the vouchers 1 2 3 4 5 and there should be a date of the occurrence of that particular transaction the name of the party then the address of that party then amount of that voucher for which amount what is the amount particulars particulars what is the item what is its quantity what is its rate everything then approval and signature if a voucher is to be created one particular authorized person or responsible officer should approve and give permission and he has to give the signature for that voucher then it becomes valid voucher it should have a revenue stamp certain times a revenue stamp may not be used but it is necessary for certain transactions continuous watching the voucher should be consider for continuous watching if not it is not a valid voucher then cancelling the voucher certain times voucher may be created but it is not used may be a duplication may be because of duplication of vouchers created for certain times so therefore it should be cancelled then the period of that particular voucher should be belonging to the year of auditing year of auditing then entry in the books of accounts any voucher which is said to be valid voucher we have to consider the entry in the books of accounts if it is not entered in the books of accounts though the transaction occurs it is not a voucher then there are certain missing vouchers whenever the auditor asks you the voucher may not be available it is called missing voucher okay so this is what uh, we can say so this is a type of voucher we can see so there are details regarding the name of the uh, company soy tours and travels uh, number is there 63 date is there 23 5 okay there is 673 one more number and then address is there particulars is there okay these are the original or duplicate vouchers uh, original voucher it is uh, shown okay so it is shown as then so this is what we have uh, rounded off what are the most important things in the voucher okay then what are the types of vouchers we have we have three varieties of vouchers one it is primary or original voucher and collateral vouchers which is also called as supporting vouchers second one internal and external vouchers third one is missing vouchers okay then what is a primary voucher or original voucher written evidence in original is said to be the primary voucher for example invoice for a purchase or cash receipts first time what we have created the voucher it is called original voucher 
And what is collateral voucher? When the original voucher is not available, the copies of such evidences are produced in support for the purpose of auditor. Second time, original voucher may be missing. The auditor asks you, then we can provide the collateral voucher. Such voucher is known as collateral because it is also called as subsidiary voucher. Why? Because it is not original. Examples, Xerox copy or a carbon copy of a demand draft. Certain times we have drawn demand draft in favor of certain customers or in certain suppliers, but that original counterfeit is missing, then the Xerox copy can be produced. Then the second one, internal voucher and external vouchers. Which are those? Internal vouchers means the vouchers which is created or originated within the organization. They are called as Whenever we make sales, we can create one sales invoice. When we make a material requisition slip, then it is a virgin, I mean internal voucher. Then external voucher, not within the organization, it is outside the organization created. That voucher is called external. For example, mortgage deed, it is created outside the organization. Then the bank statement, the bank people will provide you. The third one is missing vouchers. Okay, I said, what is missing voucher? Whenever the auditor asks you, but it is not available, it may be lost, it may be uh, stolen or it may be kept somewhere else it is. So therefore it is called missing voucher. For example, missing cash memo. Auditor asks us, but we don't have, we may kept, uh, we may kept that cash memo somewhere in the department. Now it is not available. Missing page in the cash collection statement, missing invert channel for goods received. Likewise, later on it may be available, but now it is not available therefore they are called as missing vouchers okay then disqualification of voucher when we can call the voucher is said to be disqualified not qualified not a valid voucher the date of voucher does not correspond with the date of payment entered in the cash book the date of voucher is something and the date of that the voucher entered in the cash book is different it is not a valid i mean it is disqualified as a voucher it is not a voucher the voucher is not passed by the authorized person and as I told you in the beginning itself, an authorized official, official or officer is appointed for certain important vouchers. For example, purchase of one machinery costing 2 crores. So certain person should have authorized to do so and to create a voucher. Okay, so it should be there. The amount of voucher differs in words and figures. If the numbers and the words are not matching in the same voucher, it is not a voucher which is qualified voucher then the payment does not relate to the business if personal expenditure paid and the voucher is created it is not belonging to business it is not a valid voucher for organization it is disqualified the amount of voucher does not tally with the amount entered in the cash book then the voucher is in the name of an employee or a director and not in the name of the client's company the auditor should identify what is client's company name if the voucher is not in that name, if that uh, company's client's name, if it is in the employee or any director of that company, so that is not a valid voucher. Then, uh, let us go into watching. Watching means this is the process. Now we can identify. There should be an auditor. There will be books of accounts maintained. Authenticity is very, very important. Uh, means authorized vouchers, authorized entries made. And uh, documentary evidences must be there. That is, vouchers should be there and it should be examined. This is the process of what we can say, watching. Okay, what is watching? So as I just identified in the picture, let us see the definition of uh, Dixie. Watching consists of comparing entries in the books of accounts with the documentary evidences in support thereof. Comparing the entra entries made in the books with the supporting documentary evidences. That's all. Okay, then. What is watching? What is the meaning of watching? We can simply say like this. Watching means the examination of documentary evidences in support of entries to establish the arithmetic accuracy in the books of accounts. Or we can also say like this. Watching means checking of all the transactions recorded in the books of accounts with the supporting documentary evidences. Entries and evidences checking this process is called watching. Okay. Then. What, is the, what are the characteristics of watching? Uh, till now just uh, we know what is watcher, what is the meaning of watching. What constitutes the characteristics of watching? Really, these are the characteristics. 
ஃபஸ்ட் ஒன் இன் ஆடிட்டிங் த ஃபஸ்ட் இம்பார்ட்டண்ட் ஆஸ்பெக்ட் இஸ் ஓச்சிங் ட்ரான்சாக்ஷன் ஓச்சர் வெரிஃபிகேஷன் எக்ஸாமினேஷன் இஃப் ஆல் த திங்ஸ் ஆர் கரெக்ட் எஸ் ஆடிட்டிங் இஸ் தன் திஸ் இஸ் ஃபஸ்ட் ஒன் இட் இஸ் த ஃபஸ்ட் ஃபங்க்ஷன் ஆஃப் ஆடிட்டிங் ஆஸ் ஏ செட் ஃப்ரம் த ஓச்சிங் இட் செல் த ஆடிட்டிங் ஸ்டார்ட் இட் தென் இட் இஸ் அன் எக்ஸாமினேஷன் ஆஃப் என்ட்ரிஸ் இன் த புக்ஸ் ஆஃப் அக்கௌண்ட்ஸ் books of accounts we are verifying one and uh, all the transactions with the supporting documents the examination is done with the help of supporting documentary evidence as called vouchers then vouching constitute i mean substitute substantiates the transaction what is transaction recorded in the books that should be supported by the voucher then it is called vouching yes the voucher is there transaction is there. yes uh, the transaction is correct it ensures the correctness of the transaction certainly the books of accounts just now i told you that if the transaction occurred and the entry is made what is to be said to be the genuineness whether it is correct or not it is known by watching then what are the objectives of watching why we have to check the entries along with the documentary evidences these are the reasons to make sure that the all the transactions are properly recorded the voucher and transactions are checked and uh, said that it is correct to ensure that the transactions are recorded in accordance with the recognized accounting policies and practices we have generally accepted accounting principles for accounting purposes and we have indian accounting standards and also we have international accounting standards we are also having certain set of books of accounts for different types of organizations single entry system double entry system everything is there certain books of accounts are to be maintained as per the law for example the companies act of 1956 says the company's books how it should be recorded now it is amended in the year 2013 like that the policies and practices should be followed whether it is followed or not will be checked by the watching to see that entries recorded in books of accounts are supported by documentary evidence only transaction no voucher or no documentary evidence it is not at all a valid transaction is said to be then to confirm that all the transactions are duly authorized by responsible person from the beginning i am telling you there is authorized person for creation of any voucher and making any transaction that is the objective the one more objective is to make it sure that the fraudulent transactions are not recorded in the books of accounts misappropriation wantedly committing certain mistakes for the personal benefit certain entries are recorded in the books of accounts by watching we can eliminate all those transactions we can find correct entries only with the correct watches to see that all the transactions recorded in the books of accounts are relating to business and actually took place during the relevant previous relevant period or year i told you that there is a particular financial year starting from 1st april to 31st march of the next succeeding year or maybe from 1st january to 31st december of that particular year the vouchers the transactions must be matching with that particular relevant year of auditing done by the auditor the other years vouchers should not be produced for that particular auditing purpose then to see that all the transactions have been classified into revenue and capital and also disclosed in the books of accounts we have two set of uh, entries one it is capital and revenue transactions in the books of accounts it should not be merged the capital transactions that is capital uh, expenditure capital uh, income or maybe a capital loss should be separately shown and revenue incomes expenses losses should be separately shown it should be classified and disclosed in the books of accounts in the income statement and balance sheet to verify that all the recorded transactions are genuine very important if the entry entered transactions are not genuine that should not be considered for accounting purpose if it is there it should be eliminated okay then why watching what is the importance of watching so these are the reasons why we want watching as we discussed in the watching objectives it says that why we need watching it ensures genuineness of the transaction what is real transaction and what is unreal transaction if there is a fake transaction recorded in the books of accounts and some money is stolen by the inefficient people in the organization inefficient clerks it is identified it establishes enables to know transactions which is the transaction occurred or not occurred in the organization during that particular period 
that should be identified by only vouchers and the examination that is vouching. It helps to know relevance of the transaction. Necessity, relevance, whether the transaction is needed or not, we don't know. We the stakeholders, for example, shareholders or the owners of the companies are spreaded all over the country or all over the world. They have invested money in the organization and kept us to look after the organization's daily act activities and transactions. If there is irrelevant transactions, that should be taken care of. It, it is known by only watching the auditor will help us. It facilitates proper allocation of capital and revenue expenditures. Just now I told you, whenever we spend certain transactions, for example, purchase of a fixed asset, it is a capital expenditure. It is never to be in, just recorded in the revenue account, like profit and loss account or uh, income and expenditure account. Revenue and capital should be separated. Watching helps to detect frauds and errors. There are certain frauds and errors. Errors which may be unintentional mistakes, but the frauds which are intentional mistakes done by the people or organization or by the owners maybe for the purpose of their personal benefits to reduce the profits because of showing less income tax or paying less income tax or certain times to cheat the public and to get more investments also window dressing what we can say showing higher profits rather than the real profits all those things that is frauds fraud means intentional mistake error means unintentional mistakes that can be identified Decides accuracy and authenticity of transactions. Accuracy, perfectness, authenticity. All the transactions, whether they are known to all the people who are responsible. All these things are known. Then ensures proper accounting. Whether the accounting policies and practices are followed or not by the organization. It is known by the auditor when the watching is completed. Compliance with the law. There are certain laws enacted in India for the purpose of variety of business people, they should follow. The state and central governments are enacting laws and they are changing every time as per the laws enacted or as per the uh, rules we have made framed for the business purposes, whether they have followed or not and the business transactions are accordance with this law or not. It is identified by the auditor and it is well known to the auditor. So it is very, very important for watching that's why watching is needed then ensures proper disclosure disclosure of books of accounts we can say what do you mean by disclosure preparation of accounts books of accounts what it is preparation of books of accounts in the form of trading account profit and loss account balance sheet a trial balance maybe certain times preparation of journal entries ledger everything it should be properly prepared by revenue capital separation or classification and showing correct depreciation as per the law and showing revenue expenses, revenue losses in the revenue account only and we have to see that whether the nature of books of accounts for example there are three types of accounts we can find real, personal, nominal all the accounts are classified under these three varieties whether the three uh, real accounts, nominal accounts and personal accounts who shall follow when the accounts are prepared everything is known by the auditor by watching okay so that is how uh, the watching is to be done so this is very very important for the examination point of view my dear students uh, thank you very much for your uh, uh, listening and uh, watch the video again and again get prepared for the examination thank you